Hello everyone and welcome back to the second episode of my Minecraft walkthrough slash tutorial slash um, gameplay video, if that's still what you want to call it. Um, before we get started, I wanted to thank everyone um, that gave me good constructive feedback from my first video and that it helped me out a whole lot and I would like to thank everyone, especially um, Aviator Games, who actually brought some good trafficking to my first website I mean my first video which was very th helpful thanks buddy um so with that being said let's let's get started um Josue's gaming and let's enter this world alright so from where we left off we were in the house and it was getting not at, it's, it wasn't getting too super dark yet but it was getting dark pretty much so um now that it is actually getting dark we are going to stay inside and there is lots of stuff that you can still do inside the house on your own um, especially once you do everything from the first video and you make your house you're probably not gonna have a bed yet um, because unlike there, unless you know how to make one and you've played before but if you're a new person you're in your house right now you just made it no bed and for to live out the night if you plan normal you're gonna wanna do this and that's pretty much mine your way almost and make kinda like some steps down kinda you know inching down so we can um maybe find some resources iron coal anything that can pretty much get us off our feet right now so we can uh get a good basis of what's going on alright so um i'm gonna keep digging down and i'm gonna re i'm gonna start this thing right back up when i find something so um I'll see you guys in one second. Alright, welcome back everyone. Um, I know it's kind of a weird time to start the video again, but I found some iron, and I figured that's a good thing to show, because if, let's say, you've never played the game before, I'm also going to introduce to you what type of minerals and what they look like that are in the game. Alright, so when you find something like this... Oh, I'm sorry, this is dirt. Okay. When you find this block here, it will be essentially iron, which iron you use... You put these blocks inside the furnace, and you will make iron ignit, which is very, very, very helpful. Wow, this is a pretty big... There we go, that's good, that's a lot. Alright, which is very helpful because you can use iron to make um, armor and tools and very awesome, super cool things in this game. And I think I might be hitting a cave soon because I've been hearing a whole crap load of zombies. Um, I don't know you can hear this. I don't think you can because this stupid video thing I'm using it doesn't work very well with this kind of stuff um, also if anyone has suggestions for a better video editor kind of user thing that I can use to record these videos that would be awesome just leave it in the description or send me a um, send it me an um, email through the uh, inbox that would be a great help all right so gone pretty far so far and that's kind of sounds redundant but we've gone a good depth and we've already found iron which is a good start good start indeed it's getting dark already I mean I'm a torch freak you'll notice that lots of people are like oh let me put a torch every once in a while and now I put a torch pretty much every time it gets dim I need to make sure everything's super 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 bright for some reason that's the way I play my games man that's just the way I roll I just bang seven gram rocks yeah that was a Charlie Sheen reference if you don't get it, look it up. Well, it's taken a lot longer than I thought to hit something. I thought I could have hit the cave by now from what I've been hearing. Maybe I'm just hearing things. I don't know. I guess, oh. Well, I found the, I found something. There's lots of spiders down there. Oh, and I found a dungeon. That is, that is awesome. And no, it isn't because I don't have a, uh, sword. So I'm going to start this video back up. Once I go run back up there and make a sword, which is something you probably do not want to see. So, um, see you in one second yet again. All right, guys, welcome back. I'm gonna um right now since I've found the opportunity, I'm gonna teach everyone how to make a sword. Um, pretty much you need just one stick. Unlike every other tool, you just need one for the hilt. Um, pretty much, and then you would use two stone or two whatever type of tools. Um whatever type of, not tools, um, whatever type of uh, ingredients you have, like let's say you have iron, then use that. Stone's really weak, but it's better than wood, so 
Um, that's what we're going to use. Awesome. Alright, um, now that we're back at this dungeon, um, those spiders are pretty, pretty spazzing out. I don't know what's their deal, broskies. But yeah, they're pretty spastic, so we're going to kill them right now. And um, when it comes to dungeons, the spawner will, con will continue to spawn unless you have four torches lighting up the area, and that is how you stop it. I'm sorry if I got disconnected for a second, um, something bad happened with the camera, but what I was saying was you need four torches around the spawner to stop them from spawning, and that's how that works. This is actually a really good thing that I found a dungeon because this is really good to cover so early in a tutorial. I mean, this is pretty awesome. Whoops, I accidentally put it in third person mode. I gotta get used to the new, they kinda switch my keys around in beta and I, in the new um, beta patch, and I know I can switch them back, but I'm just way too lazy to do that. Alright. Oh my god, they keep spawning way too fast. Uh, Get out of here. Maybe I'm just not killing them fast enough. Ow. Alright, alright, alright. Gonna torch the crap out of this place. And, uh-oh. Wanna close up these little areas because I do not want to die from a skeleton. They will destroy you. Alright, now let's destroy this little spawner thing. These take a little while to destroy. Um, Obviously not as long as something like obsidian. But, yeah. Um, lots of string, so we can make a bow now, and we got two saddles, so we can flip and ride pigs, and I love riding pigs, you know, because I'm that way. And bread, and awesome wheat, and then, also, what else is super awesome, we got ourselves a chest, which is just fantastic, awesome, and this green moss that I'm going to harvest, alright, um, we're going to bring it back up now, um, we harvested a good amount of stuff, well, not a good amount, but since we found a dungeon, um, I'm going to continue this video back when we get back upstairs, and I'm going to show you how to make a furnace and other things, and how to turn iron stone, or iron blocks, into iron ignit. Um, ingot, or whatever, however you pronounce it. I don't know, don't care. So, see you in a second. Alright, now we're back up here. First things first, let's uh, make us a furnace. Um, for construction of a furnace, you're going to grab, you're going to want to grab your cobblestone. And you're going to want to put it in each block like I'm doing, except the middle one. Like that. So cobblestone in all blocks except the middle. And we'll leave that one empty and bam, you have yourself a furnace. And then we'll just set it down somewhere. And once it's set down, you want to right click on it again. And it's going to be like a little inventory space. And you see this little block here. What we want to do with it is we're going to want to put either coal or wood in it coal if you have abundance on it if you have an abundance of it unlike me at the moment you're going to want to put that in it because it is way more efficient than putting in wood but if you have nothing else but wood might as well put it in so then in the above it you're going to want to put iron the iron ores right there and it's going to craft it into iron um ingot you don't have to sit here and wait for it because it stacks so you're not going to have to sit there and wait and then grab it and then wait it stacks, so you'll be fine if you just leave it until it's done. And um, then we're going to also set down our awesome, awesome chest. And I guess we can put it in the wall right here. I don't know. I think we should expand this maybe one more block um, bigger. That would be a good idea, actually. One more block. There we go. And then we'll just drop this little puppy right here. And with this, you can put important things that you do not want to lose upon death inside it. Um, I'll show you how to make one, just in case you are not lucky enough to find a um, a dungeon, we'll make one, and that is, we'll show you right now. Alright, to make a chest, you're going to want to take your wood planks, and it's going to be the exact same way you make a furnace. Pretty much the exact same way, well, it is the exact same way, except with wood. That's the only difference. You do not use cobblestone, you will use wood, and it will get you this chest. So that's what you want to do when you want to make a chest, and you can put two right next to each other to make a large chest, which if I had the which I, if I had the space, I would do that right now, but I don't, and we will worry about space issues in a s later probably. All right, um, this stuff is done. All right, so there we go. We got this, and we'll keep this wood. And when you you want to make first, like personally, I always make a pickaxe. Armor isn't um, super important. 
in the game. It's not really that important at all. So um, the most important thing is tools, especially, because, you know, you can't go wrong. And iron pickaxes, they're very, very fast, and they last a very long time. I think it's about over 150 blocks, so that's excellent um, when you're mining. Um, so not only did we find this... Um, we found this dungeon, but it also connects to a cave system like most dungeons do. So what you're going to want to do when exploring a cave, it actually is not easy. I'm going to teach you how to explore a cave that isn't on peaceful mode, because I do not play on peaceful mode. So, um, when you're exploring a cave, normally, you're going to encounter, encounter things like zombies and creepers and things and, and spiders, which aren't that bad. Creepers are really bad, but that's only if you don't notice them. If you notice them, they're not that bad. So, um, the the way you're going to want to do this is, the one thing you're going to want to look out for mostly is skeletons. Because skeletons shoot arrows at you, and they're not super strong per se, but uh, yeah, it's really, really hard to get in between them and their arrows and kill them first without them knocking a good chunk out of you. And that's where everyone goes wrong. I've lost a lot of lives in this game to skeletons. So, um, I don't think I want to explore that right now. I, I guess I will. You know what? I mean, this video, I don't want to make it too long. So, right after we explore this cave, just a tad, um, I'm going to end it because I don't want it to be as long as my last one, 11 minutes, which which was a pretty long time. So, uh, all right. Let's uh, move this over here so I can just really quick get to it. My sword. All right. Uh, first thing you want to do is light everything up. Bam. Awesome. Look at that. You can see. Oh, there's. Oh, that's a lot of iron over there. Ooh, this is nice. I like this cave already. Good job. Huh. This is actually a pretty big cave, I guess. I don't know. Maybe it's not as big as I think. All right. This ends here. So that 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 side of the cave isn't as big as I thought. But. Lots and lots and lots of iron, which is a good thing, which I'll come back and uh, I won't bore you with the details, so we'll come back and harvest that later, and then I'll turn that into ingot. Now, that goes pretty far down there, actually. Uh, whoa, why is this only two blocks high? Uh-oh, there's a skeleton. We see one, and it's firing at me. They found me. Crap. You're going to want to hide behind a block, and that's how you can get them. That's not working what I'm doing right now, so let's do this. I, it's whatever I'm doing right now is still not working, so do not take this as advice. Oh crap! Now I got a zombie and a skeleton. What is with all these mods in this flipping cave? Ah oh, crap! Okay, let's uh, let's start. Uh, whoa! Hello. They are not friendly. They are hurting me, and this is why. And this is just normal mode. Imagine if we were on hard. Hello. Uh, maybe we want to come back with a. No, I don't want to make arrows. Screw that. Nah. Nah, okay, okay, okay. Um, I think I'll end it here, and then we'll come back later, um, so I don't die. And we'll come back later. Um, next video, we'll explore more, and hopefully we'll kill that stupid skeleton and collect all his ore. So, um, this is Josue once again signing off. Thanks for watching, guys. It's been awesome teaching you.